cheeky cheeky domain and range question mate you guys asked for it so here is a really important example which will basically help you with all the other examples all right so we have this funk well this expression for why firstly it says asks us to show clearly that it can be rewritten like this which looks like a recip function okay so let's just re-revise our GCSC uh, algebraic fraction stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is protect everything with a bracket that needs it. So two obviously doesn't. It's one term. Here it's two terms, so we need to introduce that bracket. Then we have minus 6 over x minus 2, 2x minus 1. Now we're going to choose a common denominator. The common denominator is always taking one of every unique denominator, which is x minus 2, which is shared. But then we also need to take into account the 2x minus 1. But that means this is just the same as this, so that minus 6 can just stay. However, this one is missing the 2x minus 1, so we have to times Tom bond by 2x minus 1. Let's expand that, so we get 4x minus 2. So we get y is 4x uh, minus 8 over x minus 2, 2x minus 1. We can factorize out the 4 to get x minus 2. And then we can see the cancellation, and that's shown. So we're left with y is 4 over 2x minus 1. Typically in the exam, this would be 3 marks. Okay, so that's part A done. How about part B? The function f is defined as this, which is very similar to this, but we've actually got an x on, well, an x with the 4. Find the range of f of x. Now, I don't care what anyone says, guys. The best way to do these is to do a quick sketch. As you get good at these, you'd be able to sketch something like this in seconds, okay? So, how do we sketch recip graphs super quickly? The first thing you do is you find the x asymptote the x asymptote is the x value which you're not allowed to substitute into this function. Well, because it's a fraction, the only x value you cannot sub in is the one that makes the denominator 0 because we're not allowed to divide by 0. So you're basically saying, when does 2x minus 1 equal 0? Well, that'll be a half, right? So when does 2x minus 1 equal 0? x is a half. So let's draw a vertical asymptote at x equals one half. The next thing is the y asymptote. Now we all know that recip graphs go on forever, right? And they go off to infinity and they're going off towards a certain value, all right? Now, as it goes off, that's when the x values are getting larger. You could do smaller as well, but it's just easier to think about as the x values get huge. And you can try in a calculator, if you let x be a million, if you do 4 million divided by 2 million minus 1, see what answer it gives you. But here's the theory behind it. As x gets larger, this minus 1 is really insignificant. Okay? It's really insignificant with respect to the value of this function. Okay? If x is a billion and you have 2 billion pounds, would you care about losing a pound? I would hope you say no, <laughs> yeah? Maybe I would say yes, but in the grand scheme of things, it would not change the value of this uh, division. Four billion divided by two billion minus one, okay? That minus one is insignificant. You're left with four x divided by two x, which is two. The x is cancelled, you're left with four divided by two, which is two, okay? So as x tends to infinity, we are left with 2. Okay. Now the next thing we need to decide, is it in this quadrant, 1 and 3, or is it in 2 and 4? You can't tell from the beginning. So the way you do it is you just sub in x is 0. Okay, x and y equals 0. But this is nice and simple because if you sub in x is 0 here, the numerator just becomes 0, the whole thing is 0. Okay, so when x is 0, you get 0 divided by minus 1, which is 0, and that means it goes through here. So it is a quadrant 3, 
and a quadrant one recip graph. There we go, we have sketched it. Now we just need to go over to our domain being x is bigger than one, okay? And we're gonna go over here and say, all right, here's my asymptote of a half, one is gonna be over here. So my graph is only defined for x values that way. So we're gonna go up to our graph and say, all right, so it starts from here and it's only defined onwards, okay? So we obviously need to sub in one, yeah, that's gonna give me my y value. When you sub in one here, you're gonna get four divided by two minus one. Four divided by two minus one is four divided by one, which is four. Okay, so four. Now remember, our graph is only defined from this onwards. So we're basically ignoring this. Yeah. And this whole bit before doesn't even make a difference. We're not even looking at that part. I drew it just to show you guys how the whole graph even looks. All right. So there you go. There's our, I'm trying my best to get rid of that. But anyway, this, you're defining the range on that. Well, it's up to four. The max here is four. Can it equal four? No, because it's just, uh, uh, what is it? Greater than. So instead of me doing a, a colored in circle, we could have done a hollow circle. Then what's the minimum? Well, you can see it's going down towards two, but it's never equaling two. So it has to be above two. So that's the minimum and it cannot equal it. So our final answer is we're gonna say f of x is between two and four. And obviously like we just said, it can't equal any of those two. And that is our answer, okay? A question like this could be two marks, yeah? But guys, obviously if I wasn't explaining anything, I'd be able to draw this in a matter of 20 seconds, less than that. And then I'd very easily be able to just say this in another 10 seconds. So 30 seconds on this, this takes a lot longer for three marks, probably like a minute, yeah? So guys, if you learned something today, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button, more videos to come. Obviously you don't wanna miss out on those. Subscribe for more maths content. If you wanna submit your own questions, then link to the Lung Gang Reddit is in the description. And if you're interested in my A-level maths courses, details are also in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Nice.